South Canyon Trails in the top of the walkway up there with incredible views of the canyon. Hiking map is up there as well. Wow. We're at the South Kaibab Trail. So exciting. It's going in the Grand Canyon. So highly recommend doing this already. It's beautiful. We are going to start hiking in the Grand Canyon underneath at the bottom like <laughs> pure wilderness folks we got our waters we have our snacks we are ready to go let's go <laughs> here we go good morning good morning oh my goodness Look at that. Oh my gosh. We're going in the Grand Canyon, baby. How do you feel? Amazing. You know, a lot of people just take their take a photo and oh, then call it a day. That's a step on shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're huge. I think it's from the mules, right? Yep, it's mule shit. <laughs> <laughs> look, oh my gosh, look at this. It's beautiful from in here. It's not the same as being up there. So what you're saying is the most viewpoints at the top are nothing compared to what we're doing right now. Yeah, the viewpoints are great, but this is like worth it. Look at that. We are going all the way down there. Look at all these people. They look like little ants. Okay. Look at Thais. <laughs> Hiking the Colorado River back in one day is not recommended due to long distance, extreme heat, and nearly 5,000 foot elevation change. So we're already like, we've already started this and all of a sudden they want us to <laughs> consult with someone before we start. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at all these rocks. Oh, I for a second I thought that was it. You thought that was the rest of the trail? Yeah. Definitely not. We have a uh, shoe break. I feel like you need more grit, you know? I told you you needed to double knot them, but you don't no, listen. No, I don't want to double knot them. You don't like to double knot them. I don't. Does anyone else double knot their shoes? Ready? I do, because I don't like loose laces, and I don't like tying them multiple times. So I'm going to double knot every single lace, or I'm going to get shoes that don't have laces. Hello. Hi, good morning. Morning. Not for nothing, though. Everyone that I say hi to or say good morning or pass, they seem very out of breath. Now, right now I'm feeling really good. So I'm curious to know what that means on the way back up or how far we're actually climbing down. Oh, almost busted my ass.
Everybody got the new iPhone so fast. <laughs> you mad, honey? Yeah. Yeah. But this is cool. I mean, we're not even close to the ground. <laughs> That's the crazy part. We'd like to thank Tiva for sponsoring this video. These shoes are great. <laughs> Not for nothing though. I was like, who the heck is Tiva? <laughs> I think that's how you say it. <laughs> no. no problem at all. We got our own water right here. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to decide if we really want to complete this trail let's just say there are people who started up here um, and they're walking all the way down <laughs> to here so we're trying to figure out if we're gonna survive really it is 11 21 we started at around 9 40. 9 40 yep we've been hiking for about an hour and a half almost two hours we've only walked 1.5 miles <laughs> It's not hard. It's just long, but it's mm -hmm. not hard. And it's windy and colder, but not with the sun at all. So it's not like, it's not hard. All right, we decided to keep going. Let's see how far we get. Very steep. Oh, that looks fresh. We got some fresh droppings. Oh, oh my God, that's, that's fresh good. as hell. I can tell. <laughs> you can tell, honey. How can you tell that it's so fresh? It's Green and shiny. <laughs> that's a wonderful scientific observation. It's all right. I didn't need any gum or anything. Huh? I said it's okay. I didn't need any gum or anything. You want some? Yeah, I'll take a piece of gum. I <laughs> mean. All right, so we were all the way right here and we walked this way and then came all the way around here and then it wraps around here and then comes all the way around here and now we're here oh good lord how you feeling honey great it's awesome it's not gonna feel awesome on the way up <laughs> yeah so we're gonna go slow we should have got those walking sticks that a lot of the hikers have I mean, you don't really need it, but I think it'll help, especially on the way up. Mm -hmm. All right, so we still need to walk all of this. Hopefully, that's the spot. We'll find out.
the general store. Because <laughs> I didn't have a long picture. I see a sign. That means we're here. Skeleton Point. Skeleton Point. 1242. 1242? So it took us three hours, three hours? to get here. Keep walking. Now we just want pizza. <laughs> Can you imagine a pizza up here? Like a, a Pizza Hut Express. <laughs> oh, dude, look, it's right we made it to the Colorado River we made it to Skeleton Point we got just close enough where we can see it and that is good enough for me <laughs> so look at this view though look at this it took us about three hours to get here we are going to eat a banana relax and then another three to four hours back up the mountain. But this was fun. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Do not just go to the lookout points, go into the canyon, hike it, experience mm -hmm. the land. Do it sure. first. I think mm -hmm. like, well, I mean, I guess you can look at the viewpoints first, but if you're in a rush and you really want to see the canyon, go inside. Don't even, I feel like don't even bother the view. I mean, the, the viewpoints are nice. They're really, really, really nice, but there's nothing best to really experience it to come inside and, mm -hmm. and let it like consume you. Mm -hmm. It definitely consumed me because I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is a wrap for this vlog, this Grand Canyon Grand Tour vlog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notification bells, all that good stuff. <laughs> follow us on Instagram. And follow us on Instagram. See ya.